Two weeks ago, in the span of less than 24 hours, Denver police officers were involved in two separate shootings. Now, one happened early in the morning hours involving an officer and a 35 year old suspect. The officer was okay. The suspect died. Well, hours later, another officer and a 17 year old suspect were shot. Both of those survived. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon is joining us live from DPD headquarters. And Colette, Denver police released videos of both shootings. That's right. They're releasing all of the information they have so far in this investigation. Both of the officers involved have been released from the hospital. The Denver police chief says these shootings really highlight just how many guns we have in the community and how important it is for officers to always be wearing their bulletproof vests. I do want to warn you some of the video you're about to see is graphic. Certainly in my 34 year career, we've not seen two officers uh, injured, two officers involved in shootings in just one uh, calendar day. The first shooting from exactly two weeks ago happened outside the Quality Inn off Zunai. Just after 4 a.m., the suspect walked into the hotel trying to rent a room and apparently learned it was too expensive. Then he walks outside and surveillance video shows him firing several times at the officer in the car who's hit three times, but his vest protects him. The department hasn't been able to figure out what led up to the apparent ambush. The suspect in this case died. Drop it! I'm gonna shoot you! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Then later that day, right before 7.30 in the evening, officers responded to reports of gunshots. Here's where they find the suspect who matched the description they were given. When chasing the 17-year-old on foot, body-worn cameras capture the moment where he raises a weapon and fires at the officer. The officer was hit once and returned fire, hitting the suspect several times. The teen, who has not been identified, survived. I'm going to shoot you if you don't stop! In the video, you can clearly hear the officer swearing at the suspect. The chief says that's something that will be examined as part of the review of this case, and the officer could be disciplined. The thing that we're most concerned about right now is the criminal investigation as well as the recovery of that officer. Both investigations are working to learn who those firearms were registered to or if they were even registered to anyone. Anne? Really disturbing. All right, Colette, thank you for that.